Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to share with you probably the easiest way to improve any photo you take. You don't need special software. You don't need to download any specialty apps. Uh, the trick to this is simply just crop your photos. Now, if you're like me, chances are the majority of the photos you take are in the heat of the moment. Uh, whether you're just out for a walk with friends and just want to take a picture of a landscape without stopping the whole group. Uh, maybe your kids are playing and something fun's exciting you want to capture. Uh, maybe your pet's doing something cute you just want to grab. But um, in all those cases, you don't have time to perfectly set up your photo for the perfect scenario. Uh, a lot of times, you know, maybe there's, you know, garbage in the way or, you know, backpacks in your house lying on the ground that um, you weren't perfectly able to frame it to get the perfect uh, image. So in these scenarios, that's where cropping really plays to our advantage. Uh, you're able to just trim out the parts of the photo you don't want. Uh, you don't need any special skills like in Lightroom or Photoshop. It's really just dragging the edges of the photos around. So for now, we're gonna dive into how to crop a photo using the built-in tools on your iPhone. And then I'm gonna walk through a handful of photos that I have and just to show the benefits that cropping can bring from you know, a before standpoint to an after standpoint and just some things to look out for when you are scrolling through your phone and want to adjust some of your photos. So let's start off. Got a picture of Letty the cat here, which is really the perfect photo to start our cropping adventure on it. So obviously you got her with her cape on and her superhero pose just lying in the middle of the carpet here. But again, uh, it was rushed because she was going to run off. As you can tell, she's a, a little upset at things, but you got, you know, a couch in the background. You got a slipper. You got some cat toys in the background. Again, none of that is what we want in this photo. We really just want to focus on Letty herself. So let's start editing this photo and just see where we can get to. All right, so start off, uh, just in your camera roll and you're viewing your image, you'll see at the top on the right hand side, a little button that says edit. So when you click that, that brings you to the built-in editing features on your iPhone. Once you're in edit mode, uh, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see three different sections of tools. The one we want here for scaling uh, is in the third option, which basically looks like two overlapping L's. Uh, so click into that uh, and it'll automatically bring us to our cropping tool. In the cropping tool, you can pull on the edges or the corners to either remove parts of the photo or expand as you see fit. So you are able to focus on exactly what your intended object was. In this case, the cat. Uh, so start off, I'm gonna pull up from the bottom, uh, get rid of all the dead space on the hardwood floor, really just again, bring the image to the bottom of her paws, and then also gonna pull down from the top just to get rid of all the junk in the background. So get rid of the cat climber, get rid of the slippers, and really as much as the couch as we can. Again, the focus here is Letty the cat, and I really just want to make as much of the photo her in this silhouette as we can. And you don't really have to worry about anything when you do this. Uh, iPhones will keep track of all the changes you make, so you can come back in in a later date, hit reverse, it'll undo all your changes. But in this case, I'm happy with this image. I'm gonna hit done and see what it turns out to be. So with cropping, we did very little to the image itself, but again, really just puts the focus on what we intended in the first place and takes out all the noise in the background, uh, creating a, a much better image of what we wanted. As another example to look at, and really in this case, not all your cropping needs to be as significant as we just did. So we got this photo of a river at sunset just on the left-hand side of the screen. You can see a handful of branches from a spruce tree sneaking into the image. Crop those out changes the image uh, and really doesn't distract you by anything on the edges. On the other end of the spectrum now, I have this landscape uh, photo. What I really wanted though was this branch and tree sticking out of the ice. However, uh, since it was kind of sketchy river ice at the time, I wasn't really interested in walking across it to get the shot that I wanted. So kind of had to deal with the landscape because that's all I really had at the time from a lens standpoint. When I crop it, however, I'm allowed to bring the image down to specifically what I want. So all the other landscape and stuff out of the picture, uh, but I get exactly what I want with this branch and the ice and a little bit of reflection uh, to get the kind of cool photo that I was looking for. And the final product is completely different from what we started out with. Next up, we got this mountain landscape in a fall environment. So at the time, it was a sunny day, but there's a lot of smoke in the air, which really kind of 
pales out the sky in the image itself. So uh, while the landscape and the mountains look great, the sky is really doing nothing for this photo. Now by cropping it, I'm going to pull the top down so it's really just the foreground and the mountains behind it. I'm going to leave out as much sky as I can. And then with the finished product, the colors really stand out, the landscape really stands out, and even that ridge line on the right hand side stands out a lot more than it did in the original photo. Got another shot of Letty here. Again, one of those perfect images where we weren't able to set it up properly because it was really just in the moment I was able to grab it. Uh, obviously didn't have time to set up the situation perfectly. Now, just with cropping, gonna take out as much of the background inside that we can just to really put the entire focus of the image on the cat here. Now we got the finished product here, much more dramatic photo than what we originally started with. And for our last example here, I want to start to create a feeling of symmetry in this sunrise photo. So we do have the birds and we do have the reflection in the water, but just with the sky being so large, it isn't perfectly balanced. So I'm going to try to use cropping here to balance out the birds in the air and the reflection itself. Now, once the crop is in place, much more happy with the balance of this photo. Now that we've walked through how to crop and when to crop your photos, um, just a couple things I wanted to leave you with to think about uh, going forward. So uh, a lot of what we've done and all the stuff we've done for that matter have been in a digital realm. Um, so the constraints of the photos haven't really mattered because uh, they've just been sitting on our phone and they're really just for us to look at. Uh, if you are posting on Instagram or video sharing a social media site like that, um, outside of a big landscape photo, you are able to um, push the dimensions to the app itself. So if your concern is just sharing out there, uh, being able to crop, unless you can, you make it this huge panoramic landscape type of uh, photo, um, it's totally fine to do there. With the dimensions on our phone and even a camera for that matter, um, if you are going to print with your photos, you're gonna have to do some cropping in some way. So I wouldn't really worry about doing a initial crop uh, on your phone, knowing you're gonna go to print in the future because you're still gonna have to crop them beforehand. And potentially if you have just slid out an object or two, you've already done that work for you. Um, so most photos you're gonna print, you're gonna be you know, a four by six, a five by seven. Um, those are already outside the constraints that is on your phone or a camera. So um, don't really worry about that. You're gonna be cropping anyways when you send to print to make those adjustments. Um, and again, you probably have already taken it out before you get it that far. Uh, so with that, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like it, hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, uh, and keep going out there and taking those photos.